let me see if I can frame this a little differently for today's discussion. Somebody will always pay for your organization's zero. Hi, everybody. Todd Conklin, pre-accident investigation safety moment. Those short tidbits of bittiness, of tittiness, titty bittiness. You know, you can fill in the blank there. It got a little risky. Risque. I should have said it that way. Got a little risque before I knew it. So I started with, uh, with, with actually a really serious thought. And that is that somebody in your organization, somebody someplace in the organization is going to pay for the zero. When you put zero up as an espoused goal, when you tie zero to a KPI, you're paying people to not tell you what's happening. We know that. That's not even really open for debate. I mean, it's, it's really controversial, but it's not very debatable. When you get to your zero, somebody has borne the cost of that either in underreporting or non-reporting, or as the DuPont guys used to call it, the bloody pocket. Zero is frightening for a bunch of reasons, and we've talked about a lot of them. But the one I think that's most painful to me is that somebody somewhere is keeping information from you, from their peers, from the organization, because any information that looks like it's encroaching zero, that's not good information. We don't want that. I don't want to hear that. I want to hear we're getting better. I don't want to hear that we're getting close to zero. And so the challenge we have, which is a real challenge, is to build a system that understands that zero is probably not the target we want. Because if we want zero, we're paying people to not tell us the truth, and somebody in your organization is going to bear that cost. Let's think about this. Let's think what we want. And let's think about the fact that not all metrics are the same. And that zero, although elegant and indicating perfection, may not actually give us the operational information we need to truly improve. That challenge is a big one. It keeps coming up over and over again. We don't live in a perfect world. We don't have perfect systems. We don't have perfect people. We don't have perfect work. So in an imperfect world, what we try to do is create as much reliability and really build a system that has the flexibility to fail successfully. That's it. That's the news. Just know that that zero comes at a cost. Somebody's going to pay it. Think it over. Learn something new every single day. Have as much fun as you possibly can. And for goodness sakes, you guys, be safe.